Thank you, Andrew. Time now is 7.03. And meantime, communities all over Metro Detroit preparing for the worst. All right, so there's fears here. We want to get ready for possible flooding, as Andrew said, ponding or high water on roadways and interstates, and those widespread power outages that could come with the ice and property damage. Let's get out the Larry Spruill, continue our team coverage from Dearborn Heights, a community that knows flooding all too well. Just last uh, May, so many homes there flooded. Larry, good morning to you. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Priya. Completely different picture from our first hit about an hour ago. The rain is starting to come down in this Dearborn Heights neighborhood, and really that is a bad thing for neighbors here. They don't want to see this because this area is known for flooding, but they do say they are prepared. They have their sandbags ready, but they're hoping for the best. You can see I've staged pumps over here. With meteorologist Andrew Humphrey calling for a few inches of rain, Neighbors in Dearborn Heights know what that means, certain flooding. The water level outside will be at about here. So they have been preparing for the worst for folks like Tony Nardoni. That means sandbagging. We stage our sandbags. These are my neighbor and I, we share them. So it's really easy access to our front porches, our doors, so we can protect ourselves. I have sandbags on my back door that I don't ever take down. You gotta pick everything up, get it up in the air. Dan is the first house off the Ecourse River. He is at high ground and can remember when his neighbors flooded, but he did not. But the erosion of the banks, the condition of the drains, the back and forth of water exchanging between drain and tributary, and he is now at ground zero for flooding, which means get moving now. Well, it's scary. <laughs> You know, you got to pick everything up and get ready for it. I know it's coming, you know, so that's what I got to do. That's what you do. And while Mother Nature and the force of the water is to blame, neighbors say they are mitigators. Nature creates the river. Man creates the drains. And to contain the rising river, lawmakers could fund remediation. That would make flooding a lot less imminent. And it's frustrating because I just don't feel like we're being represented. And so the neighbors are not the only people preparing for this storm. Power crews across the metro area, they say they are ready. They have crews out and about as we speak. As you can see, the rain is coming down, so they are prepared. I'm working on that part of the story in the next 30 minutes. We are live in Dearborn Heights this morning. Larry Spruill. Local four and Larry, you can see behind you. The rain has really picked up. I'm going to be reporting live at 11 o'clock tonight. What's your secret? You don't have an umbrella. Are you under like an awning or something? <laughs> I, I need this tip. Uh <laughs> right now, I just have this rain jacket, Priya, so we are, I'm going to look for an umbrella. I really don't have a secret, but yeah, just a rain jacket for right now. Maybe a hat. OK, <laughs> all right, but the rain is coming yeah, you down can see that behind him. people in Dearborn Heights certainly watching with great concern for yeah, complete absolutely. updates on power outages, storm damage up to the date forecast because the timing is everything. Go to our website, click on Detroit.com. We've got it covered for you with Andrew this weekend on air and on.